Hi folks, my name is Bernie Payne. I am the commercial sales manager here at Hummel's Nissan in Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, here in front of us today is the Nissan NV 3500 High Roof. Uh, this vehicle is definitely setting the standards in the commercial department. There's nothing else like it. Um, Nissan's been in the commercial business for about 75 years. About six, seven years ago in research and development, uh, they decided to come up with a vehicle that they could bring here to North America and this is it. Um, basically what they did is they went out and I asked all the owners and operators that were driving our competitors, what do you like and what don't you like? They took all of those ideas and they came up with this. Uh, first of all, you notice from the outside, it's almost designed like our Titan pickup truck. Uh, the reason being is that motor is sitting over the axle so our weight is distributed evenly. Uh, the problem with uh, our competitors is with that motor sitting behind the axle, now you have a firewall but not a true firewall you have the doghouse which gets in the way of people with larger feet doesn't give you a lot of room on the inside and the advantage to that is with that motor over the axle now if I put a payload behind the driver and the passenger my tires will not tow out uh, per se here with this vehicle with an eight and a quarter inch fully boxed ladder rail frame that's going to keep that weight distributed evenly and our tires are going to stay nice and straight uh, along with that there's a good design to it. Being that it is a high roof, we have over 323 cubic feet of cargo space on the inside. So not only can I take more product, I can also take my product in higher. Gives me a lot more applications for glass companies, hauling a lot of my ladders and my pipes and things of that nature up on the inside of the vehicle. This vehicle comes with two power plants, uh, 5.6 liter V8, that's 317 horse. 385 pounds of foot torque. It will tow 9,500 pounds. And we also offer the 4.0 V6, that's three, 216 horse and 285 pounds of foot torque, uh, which will tow up to 7,000 pounds. Uh, some of the safety features here, what they did, up underneath the hood, safety is a big factor with vehicles anymore. What Nissan did um, with the front of that frame, we have a crumple zone. So if that vehicle is in a front end collision, uh, the severity of the impact will go into the framework and it will crunch up like an accordion style. The other thing we did is over here to the right, there's a little hook. There's also a hook over here to the left. We see this center line going down the hood. So in a front end collision, what that hood will do is it will bend up and fold away. The problem that we have with the other types of vans is in a front end collision, they have had hoods go through the windshields before. We also put um, struts on here, shocks to hold the hood up. We don't believe in that prop rod anymore. Uh, the other nice thing about this was service. The technicians are working under the hood. They're not working under the hood, under the dash, under the doghouse, so it keeps the labor rates down also. Um, in some of our packages, there's two different packages. There's an S and an SV. Um, an S is our base model. Uh, will not come with uh, power windows, power locks, keyless remote, or cruise. Uh, all of the standard features as far as uh, the engine, the V6, the V8, uh, those are all pretty much identical. Uh, the payloads differ from the 1500, the 2500, and the 3500. Uh, the other thing also along with that is standard on all our vehicles is a tranny cooler. We believe that if we can prolong the life of that transmission, it's gonna prolong the life of that vehicle. Uh, so that is a standard feature instead of charging our customers for an upgrade on that. So Nissan did a lot of thinking when they were in uh, research and development. So as far as the SV model goes, <clears throat> we're gonna pick up the chrome bumper, the chrome grill. We're going to pick up um, wood panels on the inside, which we'll get into in a little bit. That will also protect the outside of the vehicle, so if, or if things are moving and shifting around on the inside of that van, we're not gonna have dents up on the side of that vehicle. You want that vehicle looking sharp when you're pulling in on a job site or you're pulling into a customer's home. Uh, the other thing <clears throat> we pick up is we'll have 17-inch um, tires, uh, we'll have an eight-ply tire on the 2500, the 1500, and we'll have a 10-ply tire with our 3500. That also comes with the TPMS, the tire pressure monitoring system. The nice thing is before I take off on the road, I can see that my tires are up where they need to be, and I can go ahead and hit the road. That also is going to get better gas mileage and prolong the life of the tires also. Um, we have a 28-gallon tank here in the back. As we get into the inside, you'll notice um, what we also done is um, the filler tube in our competitors uh, have another little um, 
spot in the wall where that filler tube goes. What we did is we were smart. We kept that up under the fender well so we keep our walls nice and flat. We don't have to worry about taking up any of that room up on the inside of the vehicle. As we come around to the back, the SV also picks up the rear backup sonar with the vehicle being of taller. You know, we have to worry about blind spots, but with our vehicle, we don't have to worry about that. What Nissan did in their innovation is they took the A pillar and the B pillar, that's the front A pillar, the back B pillar behind the seat, and we moved that back. So our window is a third bigger than what our competitors are. The advantage of that is when I turn my head and look, I'm looking out the window, I'm not staring at the B pillar and give me that blind spot. What we also did with that is we put the little convex mirror down on the bottom, so as a vehicle pulls up next to us, there is no blind spot in that vehicle. Everybody always talks about they want a window on the side. Well, you can't turn your head that far to look out to see if traffic's coming. So that A pillar and that B pillar being moved with the bigger window and that convex mirror really compensated for that blind spot. As we open up the doors here in the back, the first thing that you'll notice is we have a high top. There's over seven, 76 inches of uh, space up in the top. So uh, a person of my height at six foot, even with a hard hat on, I can walk on the inside of the van and I'm not going to hit my head on anything. I'm not crawling on the bottom of that van worrying about my knees and back problems of that nature. As you noticed when I got in, there's a load handle at every entrance point on the left, on the right. And we also put one up here so when we're loading up through the side door. You'll see those wood panels that I was talking about, so as things move around, they're not gonna put dents on the outside of the vehicle. The other thing you'll notice here, we have 57 mountable points. The nice thing about that, we went in cahoots with Adrian Steele, so when we bolt our shelves in, they're a double reinforced mounting point. We bolt in, we bolt out. We don't screw into the metal, we don't believe in that, because that's what, you start tearing out screws, you overload your shelves, things of that nature, they get noisy. You know, we try to keep these vehicles as quiet as possible. The other thing here, you'll notice there's three 10 watt lights on the inside. Uh, our competitors only use one. We put in three, that's what the customer wanted. The other thing you'll notice, all of our wiring is up on the inside of the vehicle. I don't have to worry about uh, corrosion on my uh, tail lights and things of that nature because there's nothing to the uh, uh, outside where it's going to get rained on, wet, snow, things of that nature, which is pretty nice. There's a cargo mat. This is also ribbed like a pickup truck, so that helps with the sound dampening. You'll also notice here we have six D-rings, two in the rear, two in the middle, two in the front. Those are rated at 1,124 pounds apiece for tying in your load. We're 54 inches between the fender well. And the other nice thing you'll notice, our walls are vertical. So when I bolt in those shelves, I'm only going to lose about an inch and a half on each side for floor space for shelving. Our competitors lose almost 10 inches because with our walls being vertical, their walls come up, they start to make that turn, so you've got that point over there where I can't bring my shelves up taller. Adrian Steele offers a four foot shelf and also a 62 inch shelf so I can bring that load up taller, which is pretty nice. Um, Full size matching spare up underneath. The other thing that we did is we put the three pockets up in the top here, throwing up gloves, cables, things of that nature. You know, the more storage, the better. Um, <clears throat> we'll go around here to the front. We went with the uh, curbside assistance door, which is pretty nice. If I'm uh, downtown, uh, I've got a parking meter, I've got a bush, a tree, a garbage can in the way. I don't have to worry about opening up those barn doors and getting in the way. The other nice thing about those rear doors with the side door open, I can also swing this door out 323 degrees. It's magnetically locked. The advantage to that is now I can back up to a loading dock. I can go ahead and load a full pallet in the back and I can load a 42 inch pallet in the side and that makes it user friendly so if myself and my coworker are loading something in the back, I get the doors out of the way. We come up to the side passenger seat here. <clears throat> the other thing that we did is we made that seat fold down. The advantage of that is a lot of guys, this is a mobile office. They want to put their printer, they want to put their computer up here. Uh, we want to keep that. This is basically a mobile office. As you notice up here, we got rid of that dog house. There are six cup holders. We have a center console here, which also slides forward, gives us a nice workstation. I can also flip that center console up. There's a 120 volt outlet in there for charging cell phones, computers, laptops. There's also a D um, back on the D-pillar, there's another 120 volt outlet, which is pretty nice. Uh, this model here, being an SV, uh, we also offer the navigation, 
with the uh, Bluetooth, up to five different phones that we can program. That's a five inch touchscreen with backup camera, five speed transmission, heavy duty transmission, radio controls up on the steering wheel, keep things nice and comfort and ease. Um, it's an incredible van, folks. I definitely offer you to come here at uh, Hummel's Nissan. Please visit us at www.hummelsnissan.com. Once again, my name is Bernie Payne. I'm the commercial sales manager, and we would love to earn you business and make you part of the Hummel's family.